Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the strategy that I've been using to make money in Grand Theft Auto Online for about the past week. Obviously, as you guys can see in the top right, uh, this is my Out the Mud character, if you guys have seen my series Out the Mud. And very recently, we've certainly gone up an absolute ton of money. I'm at $21.4 million right now. And this strategy is insanely good for making money and not really having to do very much. Now, before we get any further into the video, I just want to say this. I'm sure that this is already on Rockstar's radar. This is, of course, an AFK way of making money. So before you comment and say, bro, you're going to get this patch, da, 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 all this stuff. There's a bunch of different ways of being AFK in GTA Online and still making money passively. So don't blame me. There's lots of ways to do this. There's lots of videos going over this. This is just what I've been doing. So to start off with, we are, of course, in my nightclub. Now, you guys are going to need a nightclub in order to make this money that I've been making. This is a very key component. As you guys can see, I've got $100,000 in my wall safe right now, so we're actually just gonna go and collect that. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I do in order to make this work. So your wall safe max is at $250,000, and in order for it to be maxed out, I think it's gonna take you somewhere around seven to eight hours. Of course, every 48 minutes, you do get a payout into the wall safe. The first two, you get 50 grand. The third one, you get 45, and then it deteriorates more and more from there as your popularity goes down within your nightclub. So logging into the computer here you guys can see under sell goods i've got a million dollars in my nightclub basement and i haven't had to do anything to do this i'll have to make a separate video going over how to set up your nightclub and stuff like that but for this video you're going to need a nightclub you're going to need the nightclub basement and you're going to need these businesses you're going to need meth you're going to need the bunker you're going to need cargo and shipments you're going to need coke and you're going to need cash creation organic produce is something that i was only doing once i maxed out uh meth or coke which obviously I've maxed out meth now. So what I'm actually gonna do is just set my warehouse guy who's full on meth to actually source organic produce because we might as well make some extra money. Now, obviously your nightclub basement is gonna earn you money regardless of anything that's going on. And you're gonna need to keep your popularity high in order to make the most amount of money every 48 minutes of real time or every in-game day in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, there is a way of doing this that not a lot of people seem to know about. If you go into your nightclub computer here and you go to the resident DJ, as you guys can see, some of these guys are costing $100,000, whereas this guy only costs $10,000. Now, how you do this is you book a DJ for the first time initially for $100,000. Once you've already booked all of these DJs, they will only cost you $10,000. So what I would recommend is just booking the one that's closest to this uh, to this one so I should have done this I should have booked Tale of Us so that I can just flip flop like this you guys will understand what I mean in a minute but for right now I have Dixon so when you initially do this for $100,000 you're gonna get a significant amount of popularity however every time after that the price reflects it you're only gonna get half of a bar of popularity you guys can see in the bottom right there is five bars and those bars split in half. You're gonna get one of those when you rebook a DJ so obviously you guys can probably understand where I'm going with this for $10,000, you can get this exact amount of popularity back up to full without having to do anything. You'll typically have to press on the DJ thing, rebook him, and you'll have to go through this whole cutscene. However, there is a really good way of avoiding this, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second once this cutscene actually ends. Now, this cutscene does take quite a long time. It's like maybe 20 seconds, something like that, and then you have to run all the way back upstairs. There is another way of doing this. What you guys are gonna do, instead of rebooking your DJ through the computer upstairs, you're simply gonna go to the elevator at the back of your office in your nightclub and go down to your level one basement. Now, once you get down to the basement, what you're gonna do is simply come to the computer right here and you're gonna log into it. Now, this is where things get interesting. So if your popularity is down a bunch and you wanna get it up without having to do any of the stupid little missions, like an actual popularity mission or the mission where you have to drive the VIP home in your nightclub. What you can do is actually just come downstairs, go to the resident DJ tab, and you can rebook the DJs. And as you guys can see, I can rebook these guys without any issue. It just costs $10,000 every time, and there's no cutscene that I have to go through. Whereas upstairs, if you wanted to rebook your DJs in order to get max popularity, say when it was at half, you'd have to go through that cutscene five separate times in order to max your popularity again, which obviously is gonna take you quite a long time and it's gonna be quite a hassle. So then once you're done maxing out your popularity downstairs, you're just gonna simply go back upstairs to your office. And as you guys can see, I mean, it was gonna be maxed out no matter what, cause I already went through the cutscene but my popularity is of course maxed out. Now here's the thing that I do to go AFK and actually make this money. What you're gonna do is sit down at your computer. Now there's actually two ways of doing this. I prefer to sit down at my computer because I think it's easier. Now what you're gonna do is watch the DJ's live stream. 
you're gonna press X and you're gonna log into the computer like this. Now, you can stay in this cutscene for quite a long time. However, what I would recommend for you guys that are on console or if you're on PC, whatever you're on, make sure you have a controller and make sure that you have a controller that has a cord that you can plug into the controller. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and set your left joystick on something in your house. Now I have a laptop sitting beside me that's closed. I'm just gonna set my joystick on that and lean my controller against it. And as you guys can see, the, the view select thing is going up and down right now because I have my controller kind of suspended on this laptop. Now it's not very hard to find something to do this. I've used an AirPod case to do this. I've used my actual AirPods to do this as well. Um, I've used my wallet. I've used my laptop. I've used, uh, you could use a book if you want to. Anything that you can do, just do this and then simply leave your Xbox, your PlayStation or your PC. It does not matter. It will stay on this for hours. So if you're about to go to sleep or something like this, this is something that you can do and you will obviously just stay in this all night. Now you guys are probably wondering, well, isn't my console going to crash? Now I've done this for three days straight on my Xbox Series X console and I have not crashed the game even one time. Don't worry about saving and everything like this. The game always seems to save when you get out of this cutscene or if the game crashes, anything like that. The game seems to save. I don't know what it is about this cutscene. I don't know what is going on, but it seems to be fine pretty much every single time. Now, this is not it for my strategy, by the way. There's uh, there's actually a little bit more to this. Obviously, you can AFK in the nightclub and you can earn nightclub income, but what about the agency? Well, let's head over to the agency and how we're going to do this is by going into the interaction menu and going up to your spawn location. You're going to set this to the agency. Now, you will have to buy the agency agency accommodation for this. It's about $400,000 I believe so it's kind of expensive but you'll pay it off very very quickly. Then what you're going to do go into the menu go down to find new session invite only session and join into that. You're then going to spawn into your agency and you won't even have to fly over or drive over or anything like that. You're in your agency and then what you're going to do of course is go to your agency safe. Now I've been grinding security contracts quite a lot recently so I've managed to get myself up to being able to earn $11,000 every 48 minutes or every in-game day in GTA by doing the security contracts up to 111. And as you guys can see we'll enter into my office here and I have $22,000 because I have two hours of passive income sitting in the safe. We're then going to open it up, grab that, and then what we're going to do is set our spawn location back to the nightclub and we'll go from there. So let's collect the money. Now we're going to go into the interaction menu. We're going to go all the way down nightclub. Then we're going to go to online and we're going to find a new session, invite only session, and we're going to join back in. Now what you can also do just to make sure the game saves if you are worried about that is you can change your outfits. If you change your outfit to something else and then go into a new session, the game will always save. You will never lose any progress or anything like that. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Now what we're going to do, this is the other way that I've been making money using this strategy. We're going to head out of the nightclub and out onto the street and I'm going to spawn in my buzzard. Uh, obviously you don't have to spawn in the buzzard you can use any vehicle you like but i'm just going to spawn in my buzzard because i can spawn it right beside me and then i can use it to get to the next locations now the next part of this money making strategy is owning some large ceo crate warehouses now i'm going to show you guys where my crate warehouses are i have the first one right here the next one right here the next one down here the next one over here and then the final one by the airport. Now you can actually get these a little bit closer. There is a uh, there is another warehouse. I think you can buy it it's somewhere around this area instead of like having the airport one, for example. Now I bought all of these on discount when they were 40% off. So I saved myself a lot of money doing that. And then of course, with the Criminal Enterprises DLC into Grand Theft Auto Online, we got a new way of sourcing CEO cargo. I don't even bother to source cargo through my CEO office or my terabyte. I don't even have a terabyte on this character, but I don't even bother to actually do the missions where you pay like 18 grand for three crates. I simply show up to these warehouses and you simply talk to these guys, right click on the D-pad, source special cargo 7,500. Now, this guy is going to come back to my warehouse with either one, two, or three crates of special cargo and an ability to potentially get a special CEO cargo crate as well. So that is four crates in one trip. Now, if you do this times five warehouses, you're going to rack up a lot of money. Now, I've actually got a video that's going to be coming out probably after this. It may have even came out before it talking about how I made a bunch of money with my CEO cargo warehouses when they were on 50% bonus money. But even without the bonus money on CEO cargo warehouses, you're still going to make an absolute killing on these. 
I've done the math, it costs about $500,000 to completely fill up a CEO cargo warehouse because on average you get about 1.7 crates. Now if you do 111 divided by 1.7, you get like $489,000, which is, uh, you know, pretty close to 500 grand. And when you have these things completely maxed out, they're going to sell for somewhere in the neighborhood of like $2 million. So you're making like one and a half mil on all of this stuff. And uh, it doesn't take that long to fill these up, surprisingly. Obviously, every 48 minutes, they're going to come back with the amount of crates that they uh, that they obtain. And if you just keep doing this all day, every day, or whenever you can every single day, uh, you're going to make an absolute ton of money, guys. I'm, uh, I'm pretty serious about this. I've been doing this for about, I want to say, close to a week now, maybe not even a week. And as you guys can see, my money has just ran up. Like We're at like $21 million, which I never thought that I'd have on this character for a long time. I thought it was going to take an eternity to actually get to this amount of money, but since I've started doing this strategy... Man, I've uh, I've been making so much money. Now I should warn you guys that you should never put more than 77 crates in your CEO cargo warehouses. There is a bug going on right now in GTA where your warehouses will get raided when you're offline if you put more than 77 crates in. What I would recommend doing is using the AFK strategy, you know, before you go to school, before you go to work, um, you know, the night before you just turn it on, leave your Xbox on, wake up a little bit early before school or work, whatever you guys are doing, and go ahead, hop on the game, and just really quickly collect your agency safe money and collect your nightclub safe money. And then if you have time, go to your CEO cargo warehouses and do what I'm doing and just passively source in every single one of them. Then by the time you get back from school, you're gonna come back to, you know, potentially at the very least five more CEO cargo crates, uh, you know, potentially up to 20 more CEO cargo crates. And you're gonna make an absolute ton of money. And if you do this every day for like a week, you're gonna come back and you're gonna have so much money. Obviously the nightclub basement is going the whole time. You can come back and check your game every, you know, two hours-ish. And uh, you're gonna have like a hundred grand sitting in your nightclub safe. And then you do your popularity thing like I showed you guys in the basement there. Rebook the DJs, come back again in another two hours. You got another hundred grand, go to your agency. However much money you're making then there, you can collect that. There's a lot of different ways to make money in GTA Online. And this I think is probably my favorite way so far. Obviously you can go beyond this as well. You could go to your bunker. You can uh, do a sell mission at your bunker, resupply it, and then do the AFK thing. Your bunker is going to make you stock. Your CEO cargo warehouses also, obviously, you can use these to make more money. You can also do your MC businesses. Whatever you guys want, this is a great strategy to do. And then you just come back and no matter what, don't worry if you're gone for literally the whole day. Don't worry if your popularity goes to zero in the nightclub because no matter what, it's only going to cost you $100,000 to get max popularity again, even if you have to book the DJs. And of course, there's a little missions where you can like kick the dude out of your nightclub to get a boost in popularity. You can also do popularity missions if you really don't want to spend the money on DJs. There's a lot of things that you can do with this and it's a really, really good strategy in GTA to just make an absolute ton of money. I've been doing this like i said for about a week and uh i uh, i probably will never go back to doing anything else because this is just so simple uh obviously i'm still gonna run my uh, my businesses i'm still gonna have fun in the out the mud series but uh you know, this is just such a good way of making money and uh, it's going to make the game a lot easier for a lot of you. Hopefully this is new information to you guys as well. Um, I don't want to just repeat stuff that other people have talked about. I haven't actually looked if anybody's made a video talking about this. Uh, so I'm just assuming that I'm kind of the only one. But obviously I hope this is new information to you guys and I hope this video helped you out a lot. Uh, make sure you use this strategy. Let me know how it's going in the comments down below on this video or in a future video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something. Dislike if you did didn't subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace